Hey everybody, while I'm talking about Michael McLean, I am going to play the first vigil for you guys in the background. So let me get that started. I'm going to adjust the quality of the picture so you can see it really good. I'll play it, put captions on. So Michael Anthony McLean went missing 4-20-2019. He's from National New Hampshire, endangered missing male. He's black. His date of birth is 2-5-1990. He would be 34 years old today. And I'm going to share with you some of these pictures here so that you guys can see his tattoos. So here are some of his pictures. And he had many tattoos. So they are tattoos on his arms and hands, including waves, the name Justice, but spelled J U S T I S E, and a design of a snake, a cross, basketball, and letter M. He also has tattoos on his chest. Photos of some of the tattoos are posted right here. So he had many, many tattoos. All right, let me get back to this part. Michael was last seen in Nashua, New Hampshire on April 21st, 2019. He was at the tropical lounge on Hollow Street with friends. While Michael and his friends were at the nightclub, there was an altercation in the parking lot between two women, one of whom Michael knew. He tried to de-escalate the situation, but the crowd didn't disperse until police arrived at 1.45 a.m. and Eldridge became separated from his friends afterwards. After leaving the tropical lounge, Michael called his boss and said, they're after me, more than one. He also sent three texts to a neighbor reading, help, and all couple letters laugh out loud, and our, what stood aloof in Eldridge bro. Due to the garbled nature of the text, authorities believe he was using text dictation at the time. Eldridge may have been a reference to Eldridge Street, which is near the nightclub. He was sighted on a video surveillance at a McDonald's restaurant at about two o'clock a.m. and then entering and exiting a parking garage at Riverfront Landing in the area of Bancroft Street and Merrimack River at 3.30 a.m. This was the last sighting of Michael that night. The next day, Michael didn't show up for work, which is unlike him. This was not a typical behavior of Michael. He didn't contact his mom, grandmother, over the Easter holiday weekend or call his sister on her birthday and all calls placed to his phone went straight to voicemail. He was never been seen, for, seen or heard from again. Michael has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Hester College, which is now called Mount Washington College. At the time of his disappearance, he worked at Easter Hills Sales in New Hampshire a nonprofit organization that provides resources for people with disabilities, veterans, and senior citizens. His job involved working with autistic children. His case remains unsolved. If you have any information, you call Nashua Police Department at 603-594-3500. All right, I'm gonna stop this. Is This is really, really, long. They do have a lot of people that speak.
and support his family. All right. So let's escape that. And there is some news that we can watch. We can't do the Mori show. This is a video that is and these are all pictures of him. He went missing April 20th, 2019. Amazing pictures of him. I am going to get a news report up while that is playing. This one is from 2019, so I'm going to pause this video. They have amazing photos. So this is the Telegraph. McLean family holds on to hope for her son's safety. Almost six months ago, Michael McLean went missing while with, with friends in Nashua, and while no further details have been released by Nashua Police Department, his family continues to hold out hope that he's still alive. Saturday morning, with the help of the nonprofit Lost and Missing, Michael's family and friends took part in a Shining Hope event at Greeley Park. That's what you guys just watched. A candlelight vigil in a campaign met, meant to make the public aware that Michael has yet to be found. So he is a resident of Manchester. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. And I showed you his tattoos. I'm gonna find a different. They did go on the Maury show, so I'm going to play a little bit of that for you guys, because I could give some more information. So if you're fed up of being on that hamster wheel, everybody please welcome Paula and her niece Monique to the ball. <laughs> These two grew up right here in Stamford, Connecticut, early to our show. And Paula's son Michael grew up here as well. But two years ago, Michael decided to move to Nashua, New Hampshire to work with autistic children. And as fate would have it five months ago, Michael would mysteriously vanish in New Hampshire. And it left Paula and Michael's dad, Edward, and their family desperate for answers. Watch this. Michael's the joy of my life. He's my world. These past five months without Michael has been hell for me. I have nightmares every day. I can't sleep. I wake up thinking of him. I go to bed thinking of him. Not have him here to be his happy-go-lucky self, joking around, playing around, that void is there. I'm not an emotional person, but lately I find myself becoming very emotional. This is my son, Michael, this guy. We just need answers. I was told that Michael went out to a local lounge with a bunch of supposed friends. An altercation broke out with two young ladies. 
intervene, try to separate them. The crowd dispersed because the club was letting out. His supposed friends, they claimed that they went looking for him and um, they didn't find him. That was the last that they say that they saw Michael that night. I don't know what happened to my son, but there's people out there who knows what happened to my son. I just want the people that was with him to go to the authorities and tell them what happened. I can't take it anymore. I just want my baby home. I'm not gonna share too much of that because I could get um, copyright. And I'm going to share this other news report from WMUR. At least we know that that's a little bit safer than that one. All right, let me bring this up. Oops, come on. After visiting the Tropical Lounge in Nashua, and there's been no sign of it. Ago today, Michael McLean vanished after visiting the Tropical Lounge in Nashua, and there's been no sign of him since. McLean's family says he was living in Manchester and working for Easter Seals. His father says McLean would never take off without letting anyone know. Officials say this is still an open and active investigation. If you know anything that could help, you're asked to call Manchester, or I should say Nashua, police. And there is no information um, as of now. There isn't more information, I should say. It still is an open and active investigation. So if you guys could please smash that like button, share this out, and comment below. Let's bring Michael home. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day. Love you all. Bye.